गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट कंप्लीमेंटेशन टेस्ट इन बैक्टीरियो फेज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बैक्टीरियो फेजेस आर वायरसेस दैट इन्फेक्ट बैक्टीरिया इन 1954 same or benzor worked on complementation test in bacteriophages so he chose t4 phage which infects e coli among different genes of the phage chromosome one was r2 which was selected for the complementation test benzor identified two separate loci within the r2 gene which are called r2a and r2b now he observed that wild type t4 phages grow on e coli strain k12 but r2 mutant strains are not able to grow in the e coli strain so he performed three separate tests now in the first test he took k12 strain of e coli and infected it with two types of t4 phages say t4 phage type 1 and t4 phage type 2 now both types of phages contain mutation in r2a locus difference is that the position of mutation is different one mutation is here that is position a and another mutation is here that is position b yeah both mutations are present in same locus but they are in different positions in two types of t4 phages and their r2b locus is wild type no mutation is found in the r2b locus in both of them well then these two types of phages are mixed and applied in the bacterial culture now phages don't grow and this is obvious right because we know mutant strains don't grow in e coli okay so in the second test he took the same k12 strain of e coli and infected it with two types of t4 phages one is t4 phage type 3 and another is t4 phage type 4 now this time both types of phages contain mutation in r2 b locus difference is that the position of mutation is different so one mutation occurs here that is at position a and another mutation is occurring here that is at position b so both mutations are present in the same locus but they are in different position and they are r2 a locus is wild type in both of them no mutation is found in r2 a locus that means the case is exactly opposite of the first case well when these two types of phages are mixed and applied in the bacterial culture phages don't grow and this is also very much obvious because mutant strains don't grow in e coli now in the third test he took the same k12 strain of e coli and infected it with two types of t4 phages again but this time t4 phage type 1 and t4 phage type 4 are applied so t4 phage type 1 contains mutation in r2 a locus and t4 phage type 4 contains mutation in r2 b locus surprisingly what happened 
fajas could grow rapidly in the e coli culture that means these two types of fajas complement each other this is called a positive complementation test the first two tests show no complementation and they are placed in the same complementation group but here we have two complementation groups hence it is better to say r2a and r2b are two separate genes present at the same r2 locus together these two types of phages could provide all the phage functions that means they could complement each other this wild type r2a complements the mutant r2a and this wild type r2b complements the mutant r2b